How many of you have good morning so far? With few hands. So happy to be with you, hey, young children. Uncle told you about me a lot of things. But I am very happy to be with you today because of only one reason. That reason is this book called Bible. Because of this book, the Bible, what I am today is what I am today. God brought me here today for you this young children, the little children and growing up and the students who are learning to be prospective, prosper in your life. Are you all able to understand? You are here to study. That is your primary duty. The only duty you have right now is to study and get prepared for yourself to the future where you can live happily. Is that the reason? Yes, it is. That's the only reason. In that process, when you study, when you gain knowledge, the knowledge accumulates in your heart. When the knowledge accumulates in your heart, you will have a taste for good, bad, and ugly. When we have the taste of our good, bad, and ugly, the knowledge which is accumulated in you by studying determines which thing you should do. Do you need to do a good thing? Do you need to do a bad thing? Are you going to do a worse and ugly thing and become a bad to your parents, to your friends, to your locality, and to your state and to your country? No one wants to be a bad, right? We want to be a good children. We want to be a good person. We want to prosper in our life. We want to be happy. So what should we do? There is only one way apart from your study. Right now, your job is to study. That's why you are in this school. The teacher teaches you the knowledge. But along with this, if you want to start your day as a pious, God-fearing child, love-obeying child, parent-loving child, neighbor-loving child, teacher-loving child, you have a one way. That's the only way. That way today I'm bringing it to you. The name of that way, you know, when you go to some place, people ask you, where are you going? Correct? What would you say? You say, I'm going to Sikhindrabad. Then they will ask you, because of the traffic, they'll ask you, which way you are going? So normally, our parents, mom, dad, uh, brother, or uh, anybody who's driving, they will take which way? Easy way where they can reach the place, Sikandabad, very safely, comfortably, without traffic, and reach safely. So today, I'm going to show you that way. The name of the way, like uh, as I was talking to you, when somebody asks you, which way you are going, then you say, Rastapati Ma, or Abbot's road. Correct? Like that, the way I am showing you today, the name of the way is called Jesus Christ. How many of you know the name Jesus Christ? Raise your hand. So you all know Jesus Christ, right? 
Jesus Christ is the Lord of all. Jesus Christ is the Lord of the all who resides and runs this whole world from heaven. But for us, some 2000 years back, he came down to this earth and became a man. He went to school like you. He studied like you in the school. In those days, their schools were not like you with a uniform, all coming. They have a different school. In that school, Jesus studied. And Jesus has shown us one way, that is his way. And the Lord Jesus Christ today is here with you, with me, in this place. And he is telling us to get away from our human lust. Mana alo chanalu talankulli maasali. How do we do? As you are a young child, your primary duty today, as I told you, to study. When you start your day, when you start your study, pray to God, Lord Jesus, help me to understand. Help me to solve this math problem. Help me to understand this history lesson. Help me to understand this English grammar. So what we are doing here is, when you pray to the Lord Jesus Christ like this, proclaiming your name. That means, my name is Prince Joseph. So, when I start this today, today what I did, I opened my Bible, I read one verse, and I prayed to God. God, Prince Joseph is asking you a favor. Please help me to run this day peacefully. You being the children, your main reason today and this time of the period is study. So you have to excel in your studies. You have to be number one. Everyone should be A plus grade. There should be no B minus. There should be no C minus. Forget about D and F. So you should aim for that. To aim for that, it's not that easy. You need to struggle, understand everything. But God is giving you a small, little idea. If you follow that small, little idea, your life, your studies, your understanding, everything will be prospering. Like a bird you will blossom into a flower. That is called a formula. To solve a math, what you do? You follow a formula. Right? How do you multiply? You multiply one by two, or one multiply by two, something like that. So for that, when you want to start, the Bible says, come to me. Jesus is saying, come to me. All you need is say, Lord, and put your name there. I want to be your child. Lord, I want to excel in my class. I want to be a class leader. I want to be a school leader. I want to be number one in my class. I want to have a best ranking in my class. For that, help me. How do you help me, Lord? The Lord is telling you, my child, obey me. How do you obey him? You give your heart. Every time when you ask the Lord, open your heart and tell, Lord, here I am. Help me. Talk to me. I am your child. Cleanse me. God will clean you. Like every day morning you get up and you take a shower. Why do we take a shower? Because we want to be clean. We don't want to be a smelly person, right? The next one look, sitting at you should not say, Hey, you are smelling, I don't want to sit with you. Same way. The dirty heart 
the dirty mind is not accepted in the law. So God wants to be very pure and clear. How do you do that? As a human body, we need to wash our body with soap, shampoo, and get ready for the school. So we are every day. When you wake up from the bed, just lie down or uh, kneel down and say, Lord, I am. Tell your name. Thank you, Lord. If you know Jesus, if you don't know Jesus, tell Lord Jesus, yesterday a good prince came and he told me to pray for you. I don't know who you are. If you know the Lord Jesus, even good. If you don't know, I don't know Lord. I want you to be your child. I was told your name is Jesus. Come into my life. I want to be number one in my class. I want to obey my teacher. I want to obey my parents. I want to obey everybody. I want to love my classmates. I want to love my friends. I want to stand for you. If you pray like this, a small prayer, God will listen to you. Especially God loves children. God loves children more than anybody in this world. When you are a child, when God has brought you this, believe in Lord Jesus Christ. All you need is simple word right now in your heart. Jesus, help me. Tell your name to Lord. Lord Jesus, say everybody. Lord Jesus, tell your name. I am Prince. Tell your name. Please help me. To finish this day comfortably. As I am in this school, make me understand what teacher is telling me. Give me the knowledge to understand. Give me the love to love my friends. Give me the courage to obey my parents. If you pray this word, God will bless you. God bless you. It is a wonderful occasion for me to be with you. May God bless you, especially the teachers and uh, organizers. I thank you. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Put your hands and say thank you once again. A round of applause to dear brother Joseph Prince from the United States of America. From White House with all the presidents and been working. He's so humble. Though he works for a White House, though he worked with presidents, yet he's so humble. When I invited him, he said, I will come. So if you want to excel, if you want to be top, in White House or if you want to be top in top places in top countries close your eyes pray after me dear God thank you for loving me thank you for the school my parents teachers all the elders help me to love them obey them to hear them and to study well and excel in my life. Thank you for loving me. Taking my punishment on the cross. For shedding your precious blood. Wash my dirty heart. Dirty mind. Make me as your child. From today onwards, I will be A grade. I will be on top. Because you promised. You will keep me as a head, not as a tail. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Love of God, the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost be with you in your studies and be with the uh, uh, foreign delegate, um, the, 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 the Joseph Prince, and in his world, now and forevermore. Amen. Shall we sing national? Peace.